Hello, my name is Reino, and I have the privilege of being part of the planting of Fellowship City. In our first video, we said that we are a transcultural church. Now, transcultural means a view of community which reflects, embraces, and enjoys the diversity of its context and, by the power of the gospel, transcends it to form one new community in Christ. If you've been part of the fellowship for quite some time, you will be very familiar with this definition. Now, why transcultural? Where does all of this come from? Let me give you three quick biblical truths. The first one, God's love transcends human boundaries. Second one, God made and loves all of us equally. And thirdly, Jesus reconciles us to God and Jesus reconciles us to one another. Now that is the truth. To be a transcultural church, to actually do what this definition describes, we need to add a few intentional actions to our everyday lives. To reflect, embrace and enjoy diversity and to move past it into something new and biblical, uh, we need to be able to firstly acknowledge culture as a reality of our everyday lives. We need to be able to appreciate culture in far as it is aligned with the gospel. And we also need to challenge culture where it is antithetical or opposed to the gospel. Now to do the first one is easy, especially in a country like South Africa. We have access to multiple cultures. We see multiple cultures in our everyday lives around us. And um, we have uh, access to people who can explain different cultures to us. Number two is very difficult to do with a culture that is different than your own, only because of our personal bias and our personal preferences. So even just appreciating a different culture can be quite a challenge for human beings. The third one is very difficult to do, but not necessarily with another culture, but with your own. It's really difficult to challenge your own culture because of your own biases. Now, even though it is difficult, uh, it needs to be done. We need to be able to do this. Why, you might ask? Well, for us as a church, I would like to offer two reasons as we end off this video. Firstly, as beautiful as culture is, and as rich as culture is, culture can divide people. It can make people estranged from one another. It can create distance between people because of our own cultural preferences, as well as the fact that we don't necessarily understand each other's cultures. And the second reason why I think we should do this is because God's family includes people of all cultures. And if we want to enjoy the diversity of God's family, we have to be able to engage with culture in the way that I described on the video. So for this reason, we want to be a culturally engaging church. Next week, we will hear a story from people in our core group talking about what it means for them to be transcultural believers or to be part of a transcultural church. In two weeks time, we'll do our very first deep dive. It's a time in which we will unpack the scriptures to see if all of this that I've just said is biblical. In the meantime, I want to invite you to ponder three things. The first one is, what does it mean to you to be part of a transcultural church? Why does it excite you? And maybe the third question, what about it scares you? You can discuss it with whoever you want, if you feel like it. We'll be back next week with a marvelous transcultural story. Grace and peace to you.